Have you ever wondered about the enigmatic Gutian dynasty? How did it rise to power and what led to its eventual downfall? The Gutian dynasty, often overlooked in the annals of history, is a fascinating era worth delving into. The Gutian dynasty, hailing from the highlands of the Zagros Mountains by the first king of Gutian dynasty, Eridu Pizir. It was a series of rulers who reigned over Sumer during its dark age, between 2144 to 2050 BC. This period came after the fall of the formidable Akkadian Empire when the Gutians, initially considered as barbarians, seized control. Interestingly, the rise of the Gutian dynasty was rather abrupt. Following the collapse of the Akkadian Empire, the Gutians swiftly descended from their highland homes. They capitalized on the political vacuum and instability, swiftly establishing their rule over the Sumerian city-states. Unfortunately, the history of Gutian dynasty is not all known. We know that during their reign, the Gutians brought about significant changes. They disregarded the established Akkadian practices and traditions, implementing their own unique political and cultural systems. They use Gutian language and Sumerian language as the official language. However, their rule was marked by a lack of order and the inability to maintain control over the vast territories. This resulted in a period of turmoil and chaos. Despite the tumultuous rule, the Gutian dynasty was not entirely without achievements. The Gutians were responsible for significant developments in agriculture. They introduced new farming techniques and improved irrigation systems, which led to increased crop yields. This period also saw the flourishing of art and literature, indicating that the Gutians had a keen interest in these fields. The literatures made in Gutian dynasty, such as Great Revolt Against Naram Sin, Widener Chronicle, Tablet of Islikun Dagan, etc. However, the Gutian dynasty was not destined to last. After nearly a century of rule, Tirigan took the reign of Gutian dynasty. He became the last ruler of Gutian dynasty. At that time, the city-state of Uruk, under the leadership of Utu Hegel, rose against the Gutians. This rebellion marked the beginning of the end for the Gutian dynasty. Tirigan had been captured and became the king with the shortest reign. Unable to withstand the uprising, the Gutian rule was eventually toppled, paving the way for the rise of the third dynasty of Ur. In conclusion, the Gutian dynasty was a period of chaos and disorder, marked by the decline of the Sumerian city-states. However, it was also a period of significant agricultural development and cultural advancement. The Gutians, despite their barbaric image, contributed significantly to the development of Sumer and left a lasting legacy that continues to intrigue historians today. So when asked about the Gutian dynasty, it's essential to remember the swift rise and fall of their rule, their significant contributions to agriculture and culture, and their unique political systems. Their reign, though marked by chaos, was a crucial chapter in the rich tapestry of Sumerian history. It serves as a reminder that even in times of turmoil, progress and development can still occur, painting a complex and nuanced picture of our past. At last, remember the like, share, subscribe, and comment that we would appreciate and encouraging us to make more videos like this. Thanks for watching and have a great day.